Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in to this reading. I am Melinda Nail Fanatic and this is your Daily Love, Peace and Happiness Tarot reading for Monday, September 26, 2016. And just to let you know that I have decided in order to make things flow easier in my life and to lessen resistance, I'm going to um, cease the daily readings, but I will continue with the monthly readings by zodiac sign as well as most likely I will do a bi-monthly uh, bi-weekly updates and also um, you know with me sporadically random readings for this or that reason will pop up as well these are the decks that I'm going to be reading for you today from and in addition to these I will be using my own custom designed words of clarity deck that is made custom for each person so this is my own that I made for myself it is a very simple deck compared to the ones that I make for you because I feel like when I am channeling a deck for a a supporter a consumer a brother or sister out there that my artist channel is great is flowing in a greater capacity so I tend to put more artsiness into it so with that let me go ahead and put this deck back together so we can get ready for the reading I am again I am Melinda Nail Fanatic I'm the owner of Nail Fanatics Artistry Design Studio and Love Peace and Happiness Tarot in Las Vegas Nevada and I do this, these readings for free because I love you guys. You are my brothers and sisters in humanity. And I want to see all of us benefit. And I believe that if we use our talents to benefit our brothers and sisters, not only will different brothers and sisters offer us talents or money in exchange back for them, but we will bless our, ourselves and our brothers and sisters by doing so. So now, love source God, thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to receive and channel the divine messages from my divine brothers and sisters who are viewing this video regarding Monday, September 26, 2016. Thank you, thank you, thank you, love source God, creator of all that ever is, was, would be, or could be, for allowing me to receive and channel the divine messages from my brothers and sisters for their highest and greatest good, for their overall love, peace, and happiness. In regards to Monday, September 26, 2016, love source God, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, you know, bearing in mind, please, this is a general reading for somebody who is extremely aligned with me. Everything will resonate with you. For somebody else, um, you're, you're in alignment with me and the messages for you will be brief. And so it won't be every single thing, but there will be something here that resonates for you. And um, if you don't like my channel, the way I read, or anything else about my, my, my presentation, then this probably is just not the reading for you, and that's okay too, because there are so many different individuals out there. And I'm just one of so many people that is doing what I do. And all I can do is tell you that I do what I do because I love you, because I want us to be able to live the highest and greatest life that's possible for us. And because this is a skill that I have, and I love to share my talents and skills, and I appreciate any um, personal reading requests. The price of your personal reading is set by you. I do spiritual work by donation, but that doesn't mean it's all for free when it's by personal request there has to be an exchange for the ba balance of the universe there has to be an energy exchange so you do that by sending me money while I send you a reading and you set the value of it according to what is the value of the information to you when I receive your donation I reciprocate back to you in time and reading and energy the value that you've sent to me so now Um, situation about love from long ago is coming into balance and 
you will see that by this happening, it opens up many options for you. And so you are certain that this is, this is what you want and you want to unite with this person, this individual, this circumstance, this place, this thing, because it could be any of that. This is a general reading. For somebody, I feel like a legal situation that began in your childhood is coming together and the deception is going to be revealed and it's going to, um, as the situation finally evolves and presents itself to you, which may not happen specifically on this date, but understand that these energies are in place in your life you're going to see exactly all of the different parts that people have tried to keep hidden from you and where um, you're going to be able to see where uh, different circumstances and situations came in to de deceive, delude um, from you that which you were to receive. For somebody, it's a property that is involved here, a family or property that was to come to you and somebody had tried to block it off, but you're going to receive the full understanding and the full, full um, revelation of just what has happened. So that you can be able to um, cut through the delusions and deceptions with what is true, with the full and complete understanding, and receive the balance. Receive the balance that's been due to you since childhood, that it's coming to you. With the body, this is the body, the mind, and the spirit in regards to all this. The body... I really feel like the body doesn't know. This is the equivalent of the moon card. It says confront. The body didn't know, but now it will be confronting what what is there. In other words, um, like I say, there's something that has been kept from your understanding, from your vision, from your field of view, from your possession even. And... It's going to be revealed. You will be forced to look at it. And notice the, the shadow here is small. It's something from your childhood. For some of you, this is a very spiritual thing about inner balance. For some of you, this is a physical thing. I'm not going to take that back what I have already said because that was all channeled for some of you this is a spiritual thing but for some of you this is about um, saying goodbye to something from your childhood that caused you to live off balance and what's going to help you in the mind card we have your solar plexus chakra and for the reading for Sunday I mentioned Solar plexus chakra meditation is very important for somebody. And it obviously is because now this is the reading for Monday. And here is the solar plexus chakra fully manifesting where prior the prior day's reading, it only manifested in, in a channeled message. And now it's even the card is showing itself. And this is about you embracing your own power, your self-power, your willpower, your confidence, your self-esteem, knowing that you can accomplish any and everything, knowing that you can have and do and be whatever you want. And that solar plexus chakra will help you to move forward through any of these situations that are coming to a head at this point. Anything that's coming out of the dark, because this is what it is. Something's coming out of the dark. In the spirit card, we have the two of pentacles, which is fine, says fine balance. And this is saying, again, it's about balance and 
but this is on a physical level. So whatever this is that's being revealed, and I feel like it, again, it's it's an inheritance of some sort. It's a something that was owed to you, something that's been yours since before you even were aware. Something you might not even be aware of ex existence, but it's yours and it's supposed to be yours and it was always yours. And so on a soul level, we have physical balance coming in because of this. And that is good for your soul. This is good for your spirit. This is going to add to your soul growth. This is going to enable you to feel um, more freedom. And this is going to enhance your your inner confidence, your strength, your even your connection and your faith because this is about your partnership with your divine self. This is your partnership with your love source God. This is your partnership with your higher self, your 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 all that ever is, was, would be, or could be. Because you must understand that there's no being that is ever truly alone. Even if you've been isolating yourself, you're never truly alone. There's always someone there with you, and it's not always a physical someone. It's a spirituality that's always with you. It's the love source God that created all things. It's always with you. And that love source God embodies all. It embodies it embodies all who are living, all who are dead, all who would ever live. And don't let this thought be frightening to you. This is I'm not trying to frighten you. I'm not trying to um scare you, but energy, uh science even is well aware. Energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be transformed. And so the energy of all these individuals, all of your ancestors, it's still there. And it's out there in the ethers and it's supporting you and helping you to come together with your all that isness, with your divine self, with your love, peace, and happiness, with your properties, with your inheritances. And so your big thing now is follow your intuition, my dear, because this is in the body section. And this card also means that follow your intuition and allow that to to flow in in your mind and when you feel the urges that are very strong they're coming from the spirit when you feel the strong desire suddenly to go someplace new do something new speak to that one stranger there's a blessing in it for you that's why spirit love source god is drawing you in that direction so be willing to um allow these communications to happen and be open to the understanding that all that is is connected all that ever was is connected and you are a part of it and it's truly a blessing because everything is available to you and embracing this all that is in this connection that you are connect, part of that you are constantly connected to is going to add for greater balance in your life. And here, again, twice we're being shown in particular balance. See, with the Justice card holding the scales and the Fine Balance card, it says the word there. And so balance is very important for you. And also for somebody this is going to help bring in a soulmate that you've been wanting you know and I'm not going to go deeply into that but you have options and there are more than one soulmate available to you and um, a soulmate is somebody who causes your soul to grow so it's not always an easy relationship but it is one that's going to benefit you greatly I would love to help you with a personal reading if you would choose me to channel spiritual messages for you just contact me this way and by this email here and i'm so grateful thank you thank you thank you for supporting my channel liking sharing and subscribing love peace and happiness to you and yours and of course me and mine until next time